Hi, here in this video, I would like to talk about what happens to magnetic length, pole strength and magnetic dipole moment when you cut a bar magnet in different ways. So, we will first quickly remind these basic parameters like what do you mean by magnetic length. So, if you look into a bar magnet, this is how a bar magnet looks like, a bar. These are the poles of a magnet, north pole and south pole. Each pole have identical strength but opposite in nature. That is called pole strength. The distance between these two poles is called as magnetic length. So, let's remind us quickly. To a least magnetic length. That is distance between the poles. M is the pole strength, that is the ability of that pole to attract or repel other poles or magnetic materials. Magnetic moment is the product of magnetic pole strength and the length of the bar magnet. These are the basic parameters. How do they get affected when you cut a bar magnet? Right Here we are going to cut it only along two basic ways. One is cut along a line called axial line. Axial line is a line passing through magnetic poles as well as the center of the magnet. Right? Let us take only that point first of all. So, I will redraw the diagram. This is the bar magnet and we cut along the axial line exactly at the middle. Assume that we are make it. We cut long axial line into two equal parts, two equal parts. So what happens? This part is one part of the magnet and this yellow part is the other part of the magnet. Assume you have cut it that way. Now what happens to the magnetic length? So if you take the two pieces, this is piece one this is piece 2. So, for your reference, I will draw the same colors. This is the upper piece. This is the lower piece. So, if you observe, what is the length of each of this piece? It is the same. And this is the length here. From here to here, it is 2L. Here also, the length remains same. 2L under 2L. So, even when you cut the magnet along the axial line, the first thing that you need to know is 2L remains same. Now, what happens to the pole strength? Let us have a look at that. What do you mean by pole strength? First of all, this is the strength of this part, edge of the pole, which, which it can attract or repel the other poles. That is because of molecular uh, tiny magnets that are there in each bar magnet there are each um, molecule behaves like a small magnet. Now you have divided that into pieces such that molecules in each piece as you have cut it to the middle is only half of the big magnet therefore pole strength becomes a half because the number of the molecules in each piece is half. So what we can say 2L remains the same pole strength if you cut to the middle exactly uh, gets down to half down to half now what happens to capital M magnetic moment as I said it is a product of pole strength and the length of the magnet now this when you cut it uh, pole strength became m by 2 but the length remains same small m into 2 l is capital M by 2 so Magnetic moment is reduced to half when you cut the magnet this way. Now, let us cut the magnet. So, this is all about cutting the magnet along axial line when it is cut along axial line. Now, let us cut the magnet along equatorial line. That is, 
I will tell you what do you mean by equatorial line is. So if you take this magnet, the line passing through magnetic center under the poles is called axial line. Line passing through center and perpendicular to axial line is called as equatorial line. This line is what do you mean by equatorial line. Now you cut the magnet into two pieces. Now this magnet becomes two pieces. How does it looks like now? This will be one piece. This will be the another piece. So this is piece one. This is piece two. So it became two pieces. First of all, what happens to the poles? Let's have a look at that. Say this is the north pole, this is the south pole. This north pole remain here itself, this south pole here itself remains same. Now each magnet behaves like a magnet, so this becomes the south pole of the first piece of the magnet. This becomes the north pole of the second piece of the magnet. And these two magnets now, because the opposite poles are nearby, get attracted towards each other. Now what happened to the length of each piece? We would like to talk about what's the length of this piece, right? See, the length of this piece is earlier, this one, 2L. Now this is the only length, only half of it, right? So if it is cut along the equatorial line at middle, I assume both the cases it was cut at the middle, right? So what happens to the magnetic length, right? Uh, length, magnetic length becomes half. It reduces to half. What happens to pole strength? See, as I told you earlier, like, like I have told you here, Pole strength is because of tiny molecular magnets. Now, in the first original magnet, this many molecules are there. Even in each piece also, number of the molecules at the cross section were not reduced. So, pole strength remains same. What happens to magnetic moment? Magnetic moment is product of pole strength and the length of the magnet. So the pole strength remained same, but the length reduced by 2. So M into 2 L is capital M, magnetic moment is reduced to, to 2. So be careful. In each case, magnetic moment became M by 2. But the reason behind why the magnetic moment M by 2 is different, that's the point that you need to observe a little carefully. So what is the point is, if you cut magnet, bar magnet, along axial line length remains same I have done this already I have written all this length remains same pole strength gets affected because pole strength gets affected magnetic moments gets affected right when you cut the magnet along the equatorial line length gets affected, pole strength remains same. Of course, magnetic moment get affected because pole strength is affected, right? That's how we have to understand the basics of bar magnet when you cut it along axial line as well as an equatorial line, right? So, we will be doing a next video. What happens if I do both of them simultaneously? I will do it in the other video. Thank you for watching.